version where it's like 200 or 300 dollars new and uh, I think a lot of people would be more willing. But that that also really killed VR on PC because like well PC the cheapest VR headset was four hundred dollars too or maybe it was six hundred actually. I kind of forget, but yeah. it's still, like, really way too expensive. Because right now, if you get a PS3 and a VR, you're up out $800 before you get any games. So that's pretty brutal. I don't know. They, I, I do agree, like, the $500 thing is, like, pretty nuts. And they also really should make, like, the PS4 Pro the standard PS4. And make that like maybe like new for three hundred, and then ditch like the old PS4. They're uh, they're definitely not because I talked to our distributor and they're coming out with like more like not versions, but like they're finally coming out with a terabyte of the uh, slim and whatever. Yeah, but they really shouldn't. I mean, it would be kind of sucky for the people that had the original PS4s, and they could still develop the original PS4 versions, but they should make the pro the standard. But they won't. The pros for a long time were impossible to find. Like, months and months. You could not find them. Uh, what's this? What's this hunk of junk? What's this piece of, piece of old, it's a, rusted metal? It's a metal? sword and a stone? Ugh. Dumb this sword. Looks like, this, looks like, uh, this looks like crap. Let's ne not... Don't touch it! it. Dude, this sword's as big as my body. Let's, uh, how am I gonna wield this? Oh, uh, here's the thing. You don't. Oh. Not for a long, long time. Oh. Well, a, I, I can't wait for you after you get the sword to go out and visit. Uh, uh, take Hi a nap, buddy. Go out and visit Hyrule. You know, Hyrule Town, Castle Town. It's gonna be a good time with this master sword. I have a big nose. I have a... I have a poorly compressed sound clip. Dude, the simple fact that they had the seven year, um... Time span, like, if you pull the sword out or not, like, makes <laughs> the uh, timeline that they made, like, official, like, super confusing to explain. Because it's like, well, if you never pulled out the sword, then blah blah blah. But if you did, then blah blah blah. It's like, oh, cool. There is a timeline in which Link never pulls the uh, sword. Yes, yeah, Majora's Mask. Oh, I didn't know that. that no, 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 no. Uh, that's wait. No, Majora's that Mask. Make sense. Majora's Mask is uh, Hero Time Succeeds, and then Link just adventures to another land because he goes back to the past, and then. It, they still have to defeat Ganon in the future. No, no, no. I'm but it's, but it's I'm, happening in the timeline already. But I'm yeah. saying he's he's a child. He's like he puts it back. Yeah, he puts it back. But yeah, then, no, then there's a version wins. like you defeat Ganon, but then the seven year stuff happens. Yeah. And like there's a there's some of the timelines is like the hero time actually loses, and then that leads to like Wind Waker. But it's stupid. I don't, I don't care. And it doesn't it doesn't help that like later on at Zelda makes it very apparent that they care about the timeline after, a, like, especially, like, Wind Waker's the after first... After not caring for so long. Like, Wind Waker's the first one that really, like, tries to make a kind of, like, kind of, um, like a timeline type of thing happen. If they never would have had this one, though, it would have been much easier to explain, but since they had this, it's like... I mean, they could have just... They could have just made another Zelda after Majora's Mask, which obviously was a direct sequel, which doesn't matter, and just be another Zelda... And just imagine that's another retelling. Um, instead of making it like some big epic adventure with the incarnation of Link happening a million times for some reason. I actually don't like it. Somewhat bothers me to like think of each Link as like different, even though they obviously are. In in how they set them up, like I don't know why. I will always like to think of Legend of Zelda as a fable that's like spoken by word of mouth and everyone who tells it says it differently and that's why like it's Link, Ganondorf, and Zelda being like the core components but everything surrounding it being different. Yeah, that, that I, actually, that actually I, is a cool way to look at it. I like that way of looking at it. But you can't, you, you just can't look at it that way anymore Cause, without really Because you're not, it. you're not investing too much care into it. You're like, oh, okay, so the story gets told like a bunch of different ways over like generations and they always tell it 
slightly different. And obviously, yeah. the the ones that are actual direct sequels, like Zelda to Zelda Two, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, that's fine. That it's not a retelling because it's that Link doing something different. But uh, I think the ones that just focus on Zelda and Ganon and Link actually really should just be a retelling. Speaking of that, who, what Link? had it worst and what Link had it best if, if you're going to assume that they're all different uh, I guess the Skyward Sword one had a pretty lame adventure <laughs> I don't know if there was one if I'm thinking about it that got like beat up more than the others the one or, like, that is the most different is definitely Wind Waker Link because he does not actually have the Triforce of Courage in him for almost the entire adventure so, he's just a kid that gets wrapped around in this big adventure, and he doesn't get to Triforce and Courage until the very last second. So, he's probably the most different of all of them, but I don't really think any of them has a really hard life. Other than maybe this Link, because he has to go through this, and then Termina and Majora's Mask. Yeah, he has to... That makes sense, though. He has to... Majora's Mask is definitely probably yeah. most, like, scary, so maybe this one. So you assume that, like, he has to go through all this, he becomes an adult, but then he has to go, like, after being an adult for a while, has to go back to being a kid, and then's like, okay, see ya, and then Majora's Mask happens, yeah. like, that kind of sucks. That is definitely what happens. Well, yeah. This entire game Wait, setup what? is really yeah. weird, because... <laughs> Once you beat Ganon, you're like, oh, he's he's killed. But then you get transported to, to the past where he's not defeated. And you're just like, oh, well, I'll do it in the future. But in the meantime, Hyrule is going to get decimated and I can't do anything about it. Uh, I'll do it later. Right? Wait, that's what they say? That's what the ending is? Yeah, I mean, he goes back and he completed his adventure. So in the timeline, he's going to kill uh, Ganon. But... He gets sent to the past to relive the childhood that he never had. And uh, since he has to wait for himself to get older, his other other self that isn't the one that gets sent back, uh, Hyrule is going to get destroyed. Wait, are there... Wait. Wait. Hold on. And <laughs> instead, if he gets sent back, there's two links at the same time. Okay, there's two links at the same time, and... He's gonna take you back to the past. So, what what is the motivation be behind um, Majora's Mask? Majora's Mask like is he, just, like, that like he, Link leaves, and he's just like, where? He just adventure. leaves, he doesn't say why, he's like, yeah, I just wanna... I mean, if he stays around vacation. in Hyrule, it would be really confusing and probably make some time paradox or something. Alright, well, why? Because you're, we'll that that. you're saying that there's another Link living in... Yeah. Hyrule? Because even if that Link... Uh, I don't know if I follow that. Uh, like, why would there be two? There would be two because that Link that goes to Majora's Mask leaves, and the Ocarina of Time Link that is in the process of doing his adventure and sleeping in the Sacred Realm is still there. Oh. I thought they just sealed the sword so there's, like, nothing... No, Ganon is definitely still alive at the end of the game. Huh. That's even more confusing, man. That's why you should never do time travel, because time travel is retarded. You le you legitimately cannot, like, ex like explain it. It's impossible. The only thing I've ever seen that explains it okay and not great is Terminator, because they make it very simple. They're like, you can only go back. You can't go forward. So when they send, like, Kyle Reese back in Terminator 1, he's like, well, now I'm here. But then at the same time, you could be like, but you're also there? Like, eventually? I guess. So, it's the only one that makes any sort of sense. There's two, like, types of tri time travel plots that make sense as long as you're consistent about it. Either you go back and it's, like, a different timeline that you don't really interact with in your, like, alpha timeline, or everything is predestined, and if you go back in the past, you have to do it, or, like, a time paradox will happen. Yeah, that makes sense. But, like, the timelines that you go back to the past and then mess something up and then go to the future and it's all different, like, that's just a different take on it. But I like the ones where it's, like, you try to go back to the past to, I don't know, your your dad dies and you want to save him. So you go back to the past, but then it ends up, like, oh, you, you're you the one who actually killed him accidentally. And then that's how he died or something. 
That was a really weird example, but... Well, no, but it makes sense, but it's also, like... That's my favorite type of timeline, the one that everything is predestined and you can't actually change anything. Oh, you know which one does a really good example? That is that Futurama episode where Fry's his own grandfather, yeah. and you're like, oh, okay. And it's, like, obviously a super silly take on it, but... Uh, wow, reset. Uh, now reset. Are you set? Um, but yeah, that's like, there's no possible way you can be like, I'm not confused. Yeah, I guess this link, if you count this link as being like, is this the one that, so would the one right now be technically, like, as an adult, would be the one that also has to do Majora because he just come he becomes a kid again. Yeah. He's already done it. And that so means that's that not, that's not correct. If actually. you think of it that way, now that Link is in the future, it means that the one that's going to Termina in Majora's Mask is already like on his way and did his adventure already. Which is a weird way to thinking about it. Ugh. I think the best way to think about it is simply to not think about it at all. Yeah. Time travel plots are just Ocarina of Time ruined it. I will say my, if we're talking Zelda, my least favorite Zelda is Twilight Princess. Because she has no humor. Not you even mean humor. Just Zelda? What? You just mean the Zelda in the The Twilight Zelda Princess? character in Twilight Princess okay. is like so boring. Um, I like Wind Waker's Zelda because she's so different. Yeah, it is weird that it's the Wind Waker Zelda is the most different by far in the entire series, and then you go and make her... I mean, she's a leading character that, like, matters, but... I don't know. Oh, talking about non-consistent time travel, there is actually a case of it happening right here where, I don't know what you call it, but it's pretty much a time travel, like, loop with no beginning. Um, the guy teaches you the Song of Storms because, as a child, you use it to mess up the windmill. Oh, oh right, yeah. Uh, what did, did you... did you mess up? I think I can salvage this. Oh, alright. Oh, really? Are you able to, like, fly off like that? If it works. Well, I'll get that hard piece off screen. But here it is. It's you have an ocarina. He is mad about you in the past teaching or using this song to mess up the windmill, and then he teaches you it in the future. So it means that the thing in the past already happened, and it makes no sense. Yeah, that is weird. You missed a second on on the on the wr time there. Sorry. That guy's mad. I would say my favorite... See, early Ganon had no, uh... No personality. Because in, uh, in one... In Zelda 1, you don't meet him till the very end. And the same thing with Link to the Past. In fact, the same thing with Zelda 2. You, like, the only time you see him is when you die, besides the very end, you know? So, Zelda 2, you never see Ganon, because he doesn't get resurrected until you die. Oh, that's right. That's right, the final boss is, it's like... Dark Link. Dark Link, that's right. Yeah. That's right, that's right. So I guess my favorite Ganon would be... Uh... You know, I'm gonna say Wind Waker again. He's just kind of boss-looking. I think the iconic one clearly is this one. Uh, Ganon and Wind Waker has, like, a weird morality to what he's doing, and, like, when he explains, like, he just wants to get Hyrule back because the gods flood it, it's like, this guy doesn't seem like he's that bad. But then you have, like, this Gandalf who's just like, haha, I want to rule the world. Oh, you killed me. So, there's a lot of different ones. I guess the Wind Waker one's probably the best. So Wind Waker's just the best game. 
You can have the best story and not have the best game. Although I do like Wind Waker. Wind Waker is good, it just has a lot of flaws. I think the sailing in Wind Waker is super boring. Also, it only has four dungeons. That I've are still, all I've, not that good. I've still never completed Wind Waker. Like, Majora's Mask also only has four dungeons, but you have four s huge sub-areas that, uh, you have to do before each dungeon. That's because it needed that expansion pack, son! I'm actually, I'm gonna lay it out on the... Don't do lay, it. Lay it all out. I haven't completed a Zelda since Ocarina of Time. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta play a song, it's like, uh, what was that again? I like a lot of the side quests in Wind Waker. Like, it's kinda cool to just be, like, sailing around and then see, like, one of the big octopus comes out, or, you know, whatever. Oh, so there are octopuses. Octopi in the Zelda universe. Listen. They're not all Octorok. Octoroks. Listen, listen, listen. I have no care for that. Octopi are cannon. Octopi? Cool. Yeah, I love these uh, tutorials you can't skip and are activated automatically. L targeting? Triggered. That's not even like a, a thing. Uh, once your view is set, you can sidestep. Like, what does that even mean? just means you can move horizontally, I guess. But you can't do that when, you're, when your view is set. When it, that happens, you can't move at all. I don't really get it. Unless I, it means I this. Th yeah, I think that's it. But this is so weird. That guy... Hey, buddy. Can you turn around? He's good. He's... For being a big warthog that apparently, like... Should use his like sense of smell. He is certainly. I have to wait for him to get a little bit further. He's just gonna turn around and impale me. No. That's such a weird view. Metal Gear Solid. This ain't. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty weird. Good. Rip arena. One hit. What was that? <laughs> Did he see me through the wall? Uh. Good question, what actually. Is he? Over here. What? How far away is this guy? What is he looking at? What's he doing? That's got him so riled up. What's the deal with these orcs? Uh, moblins. What's the deal with these moblins? I mean, they're not monsters. They're not goblins. What are they? By the way, this is, uh, the worst depiction of the moblin in the series. I like the ones in, uh, Link's Awakening. Yep. I'm gonna agree with that. Da, 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 da. And in fact, there's only like these are like the only ones, really, right? Used to be such a significant enemy, you would see him everywhere. Shaking my head, fam. Da, da, da. Come on, Sheik, stop speaking in riddles. That is literally all she does. Having a big harp to play like five notes. Speed run. Mm -hmm. wow. wow. PB. I should use both my thumbs. Dun 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 dun. What a song. The thing I like about this game is they had to, um, 
I like Jod. That's what I like about this they game. They had to find like uh, 12 different synonyms for song. Oh, yeah. Bolero. Yeah. Like, I've definitely heard of minuets, but I don't think I've ever heard of, of Bolero. Yeah, I haven't. That's elegy. A there's, there's a eulogy. Or no. Wait, I don't know. What's it called? Uh, it's, it's elegy. Elegy, yeah. There's an elegy. I've heard of those. Bolero? I've never heard of Bolero. I'm excited to see all the uh, all the cows in this dungeon. You know what? More like Borero. This dungeon is actually pretty good. Uh, I think this is the best dungeon in the original Ocarina of Time, and it's probably the best one here, too. Good. Rip. You're like so close to that spider. And that spider too. Uh, Good. <laughs> broken legs. These spiders though. Um. That was weird. Do they just like, uh. If you don't move, uh, they will not attack you. Are you for real? Thanks for telling me now and not 20 years ago. Yeah. Not taking any chances. Speedrun strats! Dude, I hate that jump. I fail it all the time. Yeah, it's an annoying one to fail. Nice. Uh, gotta give it up for, uh, rolling out of a jump without having any sort of forward momentum going into that roll. Zero out of ten game the worst. I give, I give it up for, uh, this soundtrack right now. It's very atmospheric, but it's, it it's not, it's not a good song just to listen to. But like when you're like you're dungeon crawling, and you have to like be like, what's gonna happen? Yeah, it's a good that's why I go. What's gonna happen? Oh. I'm excited to see what this master quest has to hold for us. Oh yeah, this room. Oh wait. Oh, oh man, man, that room. This, wow. This freaking room. I gotta tell you. Remember that room you have to play Song of Time? Woo. Yeah, I, I don't know why they thought that was a puzzle, because you have to do it to get out of uh, the hookshot place. Do you so, have to have the hookshot to be here? Yeah. Oh, that's right, you do. To get up there. Rip. Oh, that feel one no more Deku. You can use the nuts, but not the sticks. Rip. Not that sticks are good for anything other than like fire, I guess, and you get the fire arrows. So. You use them for the boss all the time. Yeah, yeah and, but and gaming the damage calculation. Now you have uh, the master sword, which is already like pretty good, and then eventually the bigger on sword, which takes as much as a stick. That feel one bigger on sword quest. But honestly, uh, so the way that damage uh, works. Uh, one trick I've been using is called uh, Power Crouch Stab, which basically when you do a jump like this and then you do like uh, crouch stabbing, uh, it does as much damage as what you did last time. So doing like a jump, jump slash does the most damage. Huh. But when you get the Megaton Hammer and do a jump strike with that, that does the most damage uh, as much as the Big Ron Sword. So it makes the Big Ron Sword like pretty useless once you know about it. It's interesting. Oh. How, how long does it save the, uh... Until you do another strike or anything like that. So... Here's the one trick I know about this. Wow! Yeah. It makes a... So you can't... So now this leads to the boss. Yeah. You're done. <laughs> it, it just uh, makes, uh... Makes it so you don't have to backtrack as much. So... I'm trying to uh, brain my brain my brain. The 
You can only do one stab, and then you would have to do another jump thing to get the full, uh... Um... No, it, he, full mean, damage. he means it's until, like, you do another, like, default, like, regular stab. Am I right? Or is it just, like, you do one... Okay. Okay. What is happening? I Good hate redeads. They were just really weird that time. But, um... Like how the crouch stabbing works, like so you do one, one jumping, uh, strike, and then, like pretty much until you do like a, a regular slash. Yeah, it basically crouch stabs. what power crouch stabbing does is that it remembers what, um, move you used the last time. And until you do something else, it does that damage. Yep. That makes sense then. And that's a very easy exploit to do. It's not like you have to do anything. Nice. Yeah, we have to go over there. Listen. Get it? No. Because she says listen and hey. Oh, man, I'm funny. I gotta start a webcomic up. Yeah. Episode one. Hey, Nava has something not very important to say, so she says hey and listen. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> get it? Yeah. Do you guys get it? I really don't. Hmm. Well, I'll explain it in my webcomic. I love webcomics. I know, especially video game ones are the best. They're really... Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're true gems. They really are. It's the best. Alright. You know what? I am going to start one now. I'm just gonna steal from other web comics. My uh, first one okay. is gonna be Link, it's gonna be Link sitting in in a room that's on fire. Okay. Uh, uh, and, okay. And and Nava is gonna be just complaining and going, "Hey, listen, listen, listen!" He's gonna go, "This is fine. Uh, there it is. Everything is fine." <laughs> oh my God, I'm funny. I'm, uh, that's funny. I'm funny. Oh, okay. All right, I've got one. Yeah. Um. <laughs> So, uh, it is Dude, just... I'm already LOL. -ing. Okay, so it is, uh, it's titled Lost. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, because it is just the JPEG of the Control-Alt-Delete comic titled Lost. Nice! That's super funny! I've heard of that May May. Wow, what a it's meme. a good one. What a meme. Let, let me do one. Uh... <laughs> So, Link's in a room with a guy, uh -huh. and they can't find the TV remote. Oh. And, uh, the guy's like, hey, hey, Link, can you find the TV remote? Yeah. And then, when he finds it, he was like, da 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 <laughs> and he holds it over his head. <laughs> ten out of ten. Uh, gamers will love that one. Would, yeah. would support your Patreon, ten and, out of and ten. And you can really, you can really understand the dilemma of, like, finding your TV remote, because yeah. we still have not found the remote for down here. <laughs> Mother ever. <laughs> so, we're just... So it really relates to uh, everyone, gamers in particular. Once again, they'll get the because they always do remotes and they'll stuff. They'll really appreciate the payoff when they find it and they do the pose, and then it'll say in the little comic, da na na na. So it's gonna be able to tell. I might even have a better one. Like this might be the goat. All right. <clears throat> so, uh huh. There's a gamer. He's sitting there, right? Yeah. Or she, whatever you want. Or it could be. Right. So they're they're there and they're in this intense gaming session. All right, and it's There's a game. Two of them? It's a game where you can't save, and they say that the uh -oh. first the first the first panel is them saying, "I'm enjoying this gaming session," and the oh, second no. one says, "But I can't save at this moment." Uh -oh. And then something comes up that they have to go somewhere. Ah, oh, my. <laughs> my baby, and they, my and baby fell like, out of the crib. Right, and they're like, and they're like. Oh, uh, what do I do? Like, what's going on? You know, like, yeah. What are my choices here? And it's just, it, you, and you, everyone. It's called gamer's dilemma. And then, and then, for, fourth panel. That baby has still fallen out of the crib. Yep. Oh my gosh. And then I'm gonna make another one. It's gonna be kind of similar. I'm not gonna lie, but uh -huh. it'll still work. Where it's the same situation, but it's a kid in the '90s, and the mom's like, "Oh, it's time to go." Uh oh. And, and he didn't save his game, and he's like, "But." I didn't save my game. And the mom says, turn that Nintendo off. And he goes, 
It's a PlayStation, Mom. <laughs> yeah, it's a Sony PlayStation. It's uh. These parents, do these parents even know what they're buying their kids? I know. Can you even believe it? It's olds are just profoundly ignorant, and we hate them, and that's what we do as gamers. Dude, let's. All right, 